check out this study. I wanted to bring it here today and I really wanted to highlight it as one because this is probably the future. So this was developed by teams at Rice University at Texas A&M in UT MD Anderson. Basically, it's been called the molecular jackhammers. And what it is, is an amino cyanine dye that is basically put in your body intravenously. However, it's selective for cancer cells, in this case, melanoma cells. Here's what happened. When the dye was injected in, this was done in cultures right now, not in humans, and it was done in mice. I'm gonna give you the results in just a moment. So they inject the dye, the dye selectively goes after the cancer cells, the cancer cells light up and are dyed this particular color. Then they're then exposed to near infrared light and the molecules enter what is called, they called it a vibronic mode. So basically they were vibrating in unison. Think about a tuning fork set to a particular pitch. You probably know if you've you know ever seen the opera singer that can shatter glass with their voice or a specific tuning fork when you get it high enough pitch it can shatter glass. Same thing here. They're getting what are called nanoscale jackhammers. So they are vibrating at such an intensity that the cells just rupture. They essentially explode. They don't implode, they literally break. And this ruptures the cancer cells, right now being done in skin-based cancers or melanomas. So in cell culture tests, it destroyed up to 99% of human melanoma cells. So if you could do this, keep the other cells intact, and then just use all natural protocols to mop up the other 1% while working on what may have led to the cancer in the first place, I mean, that's unbelievable. It's amazing.